Hello everybody, Game Room Guru here. Thanks for checking out the channel, Addicted to Arcade 1-Up. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you the Lethal Enforcer conversion cabinet that was recently done. This was previously a Big Buck Hunter cabinet, Arcade 1-Up of course. There's the riser as you can see down there. Thought we'd take a few minutes and I'd walk you through the different parts and pieces that went into this. First, we're gonna start with the Lethal Enforcer's marquee. Keep in mind, marquees do not show up on camera well. This marquee was done by Angel Oterra. If you haven't had a chance to work with Angel yet, he does a lot of custom stuff, he's really good. You can reach him through Facebook Messenger. Just reach out to him, let him know what you're thinking. He'll let you know if it's something he can do. Next is the 19-inch monitor. Now, this monitor came from Buy Stuff Arcades. It has the IR sensors built into the monitor already. You can see them there, 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 and there. It is about as plug-and-play of a 19-inch monitor swap you can get. The cabinet is running the Retro Shooter. Retro Shooter has about 95 gun games on it, I believe, is where it's at now. A uh, little over 5,000 total games if you get the package with the arcade controllers in it. Uh, it included the system to run the guns, the guns... Everything is included with the Retro Shooter package. Um, oh, back to uh, the marquee. The marquee ran me 80 bucks. Um, it turned out pretty good, I think. Overall, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, and I would 100% order from Angel again. This cabinet has multiple things on it from Buy Stuff Arcade, so I'll go through those all at one time after we're done. Uh, the Retro Shooter Kit, it varies based on your selections. This kit, with total shipping, cost about $300. Um, I would rate it probably a 9 out of 10. It's exactly what I expected. And yes, I would buy it again. Now let's talk about the, the, the integration kit that, that I used that it hooks the Buck Hunter board up to the monitor and to the retro shooter kit. Now it comes from Buy Stuff Arcades. Everything is included in the kit. Um, it is pretty easy, I would say. Uh, watch their video on it a few times. Uh, follow what he does step by step and you'll have no issues. It was really straightforward to hook up. Like I said, everything included with the integration kit is there that is needed to connect it to their monitor with the IR built in now if you do a different monitor or you stay with your 17 inch monitor you're going to have to do a little bit further modding um for the cost 100 percent, it is worth going to the 19 inch monitor <clears throat> now the art package this came from repro arcade r-e-p-r-o arcade you can find him on Facebook. He has a website. It's the first time I've ordered art from him. Um, I will say this. His art package is very budget friendly. Uh, this art package, full kit, ran, I think it was $135 total. I think the website said 105, but he's out of the UK, and so by the time you get some dollar to 
euro conversion figured in and whatever. I think it was about 100, 130 bucks for the full art kit. Really not bad. Uh, like I said, first time I'd ordered from him. Lethal Enforcers is kind of a, a kind of an odd color in that one. There's lots of darks. There's I don't think it's supposed to be quite this purple, um, but there's some purples in there. The, it's supposed to be an illuminated night sky from the city landscape. The game takes place in Chicago. <clears throat> you can see the images kind of came out pretty good. A little fuzzy on the guy. Uh, the car is not bad. All in all... I would give the art package, it's it's a really heavy vinyl too. All in all, I'd give the art package probably seven out of 10. Um, would I order from him again? Absolutely. For the price, 100% I would order from him again. I don't know about a full art package though, but like a riser for sure. Um, yeah, I would order a full art package from him again. It took about a month to get the art package um, after I ordered it. Um, I'll say this. His website never did update tracking information. And when I contacted him for it, um, I didn't really get a straight answer. I was getting a little nervous, to be honest. But it did come. Uh, he said, you know, hey, look, I don't have it. It'll the it, It's scheduled to be there sometime next week. You know, he thought Monday or Tuesday. It showed up on a Wednesday. So, then down here, if you look closely, we have a riser booster. Now, those are available from Buy Stuff Arcade. That's a six-inch booster. For this cabinet design, it is an absolute must. Honestly, even eight inches. Even with the larger monitor, this cabinet sits so low. It is just an absolute must. Okay, so the Buy Stuff integration kit, along with the 19 inch monitor, I think was about $300 total, uh, give or take a little bit. Then you have your booster. The booster is about 60 bucks. Um, definitely worth it. If you're handy, you can build a booster. Um, they're really easy, they're pretty straightforward. It's just like four boards with four little prongs to fit up inside, keep it from sliding around on the boards. Um, however, if you're like me and you just don't have the time, the space, the know-how, or the energy to even bother with this, it's a quick, simple fix. <clears throat> I am a huge fan of the Buy Stuff Arcade Boosters. I have so many of them in my arcade. glimpse here um real quick i did forget to note the new buttons a couple of black buttons there to replace the orange and green uh diy retro arcades for buttons guys um shane tittle over there is great to work with uh the prices are fair he ships fast I think with shipping, my buttons were like almost 10 bucks, but buttons are pretty cheap. So, you know, figure about a buck and a half a button plus some shipping. Um, one thing that I really like about the Buy Stuff integration kit is now all of my controls work. So my I still get to use my stock audio and power switch um their kit does come with a 
uh, 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 wire attachment to provide juice up to a lit marquee. Uh, however, I did have to use a jumper because the one that comes with the kit is a different size than the one that Angel uses. Uh, so I had to use a, a barrel conversion there. <clears throat> um, that is also something that Shane over at DIY can help you with. Just send him a picture of the two and let him know what you're trying to do. Like I said, it's got 95 games on it. This Retro Shooter 4IR system uh, does have the 12 newest games that they've added. Um, they're all Laserdisc style games. For the most part, the few that I've played are pretty fun. So all in all, I am roughly a thousand bucks, maybe a little more on this cabinet. Um, the cabinet itself was an empty shell that I picked up on Marketplace for hardly anything. So yeah, about a thousand bucks. Would I do it again? Yeah, I would. I really like this cabinet. Really wanted Elite the Enforcers. Um, Arcade 1-Up may do one even this year. However, I like the Retro Shooter because I now have 95 gun games to play instead of the three or maybe five that they're going to put on it. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment and ask. If you haven't subscribed or liked the video yet, make sure you do. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications. Lots of fun stuff coming up in the near future. Thanks. And may you play till your fingers bleed. Have a good night.